Once, all the employees of a company were not able to focus on their work. The reason behind this was lack of mutual coordination and spending their time on needless work. Staff used to argue over minor issues, they always discussing their personal issues in the office. Due to this, the performance of the company was continuously declining, the revenue of the company was endlessly falling, and the boss of the company was very troubled with all this. He always thought, I have brought my company to this stage with so many years of hard work and dedication, but this clueless staff might ruin it, although, he believed that company staff members are very educated, but, they are not able to balance their personal and professional life properly. They are struggling with family job balance, they waste energy on useless arguments, the boss said, now that's it, enough, I can't bear it anymore, I have to find some solution immediately. Then he remembered his Zen master Li, the boss was a scholar of master Li, since his childhood, when his mind was distressed, he was not able to focus on studies, then he visited Master Li, and learned many worthy things from the Zen Master, you can watch that video, by pressing the i button above, also, the link of that video is given in the description, so, next day, he visited Master Li, and told the entire issue to him, and asked for his guidance. Master Li, smiled, and said, it's not a very big problem. And he suggested a solution, boss wondered, why he had not come up with this idea earlier. And on the very next day, he started working on the solution, suggested by Master Li, the boss, called all of his staff members, into the conference room, there was kept a transparent jar, and some stuff kept under the boss table. After looking this, the staff members started to think, what does the boss wants to explain to us? The boss asked everyone in a loud voice, Do you all want to know why I have called you here? The curious staff said in a low voice, Yes, sir, okay, said the boss. And the boss started filling that transparent jar with some big apples and asked his staff members whether the jar was full. They all said yes sir, the jar is completely full, no more apples can fit inside it. The boss said okay, then fill small grapes in that jar, shivered the jar, and put as many grapes as could fit in it, and then asked the staff again, is the jar full now? They all again said, yes sir, the jar is completely filled. Let's see, the boss said, and then, he filled that jar with powdered sugar, and asked again, can we fill this jar more? Then, the staff said, no sir. The jar is finally full, now, absolutely, nothing can be filled inside it, the boss said, okay, let's try again, then, he took up one bottle of water, that were kept under the table, and poured them into the jar, successfully filling the empty spaces, left between the sugar powder. One of the employees stood up, and asked the boss, sir, we, are becoming curious, but, we are not able to figure it out. What do you want to explain us, please? Can you elaborate? Your intention of giving this example as it seems interesting. The boss smiled. And starts explaining, this jar represents the symbol of, our lives, you, me, and all of us, in this world. How come? Everyone asked in one voice. Boss started explaining. The apples represent the most important things in our life, like your family, health, and relationships, without whom, our, our life is meaningless, the grapes represent, the other important things that matter a lot in your life, like your work, career, and your own home, your social life, that are essential for your overall well-being, and the powdered sugar, represents the remaining little things possessions in our lives. These things doesn't matter much, and are probably done, only to waste time, or utilized in completing minor tasks, if you start pouring powdered sugar into the jar first, then, there won't be much space left for the apples or grapes inside. That means, you have no time left for the most important things in life, for instance, 
If you spend your whole time in useless debates, like you do every day in office, and keep on arguing among yourselves, then this also acts like adding the sugar powder first. You must try to find a solution of that problem, instead of arguing on the problem, if you spend all of your time on irrelevant things, you won't have time left for the things that really matters. Even, the most successful individual in this world, has just, 24 hours in a day, you just need to make the right coordination, and utilize the time properly. So, to live a more peaceful life, you firstly need to focus on the most important things in your life. That should be given priority, now, if you put the grapes first, then, they will get crushed under the weight of the apples, that means, you will spend all of your life in making money, leaving no time for your health, family, and friends, which will make you irritable, and depressed. So, firstly you need to make balance in your personal life, that is your family, friends, overall health, otherwise, you will not be able to focus on your work and career, you need to put the apples first, before putting the grapes inside the jar, otherwise, if you put the apples later, then the grapes can't bear the weight of the apples, and will get collapse, one of the employees raised his hand, and asked, then what the water represents. The boss smiled. I'm glad you asked this question, this means, no matter how much busy you are in your life, there is always some space left, the boss very well presented the teachings that were given by his Zen master to his staff members. The conference room echoed with thunderous applause, a positive energy, with sparkle in eyes was inside the staff members, the lesson had such an exceptional impact on the staff members, that today the company's performance are outstanding, the company is growing double a day and quadruple at night, the company's profits are constantly increasing, and today there is no lack of coordination among the staff members, no mutual fights between them, everyone together is trying with their heart to take the company to sky.